सर दीक्षिका गो है यस सर Greetings to one and all present here. I, Deepshika Mutyal of Eklavi International School, have immense pleasure to be your host this evening. Welcome to Great Masters, a series of interactions with the legends or the disciples of some of the greatest gurus of Indian music and dance. These series of interactions were introduced to make the new and rising generation aware of the approach and style of of legendary artists. On behalf of Eklavi International School, I would like to convey our pleasure and privilege to host the Spikmaki event this evening. Today. We are celebrating the legendary Guru Sangeeta Kalanidhi Doyen and luminary Dr. M. L. Vasanta Kumari through the Great Masters event on the 75 years of India's independence. Over to you, Shri Niketan. Greetings to one and all present here. I, Shri Niketan Gopi, take immense pleasure in talking about my principal, Suganti Vishwanathan. I have been in this school about seven years now, and as far as I know, she is the best principal I've ever seen. My principal is a beacon of positivity. She is one truly amazing principal. Our principal is a daily dose of positivity. She enlightens my day almost every single day. With a smile, she stirs confidence, love, and joy in each and every single kid here. She believes that every student here is a leader and works towards to bring the leadership in everyone. She's a very kind, gentle, nice, and a very friendly person. I would like to call upon my principal to give some few words. Thank you, thank you so much, Rini Ketan. proud to be your principal and uh, proud to be hosting such a wonderful event uh, by speak make uh, it has always been my dream that uh, you know uh, the current generation always equips itself with our rich heritage so carnatic music has been handed over generations not only carnatic music classical music classical dance forms they've been handed over generations and somehow we have lost out a lot over the past few years thankfully i feel the digital world has uh, contributed immensely to the reviving of uh, you know the tradition the long last tradition of uh, accessibility of music you know uh, my uh, father i used to say that he would travel whole night on a bullock cart and attend somebody's wedding because uh, gnb was singing in that wedding or uh, madhuram and he was performing in that wedding so or the nadaswaram was uh, a unique one so i there there were there were times when people used to travel you know overnight and 24 hours and 36 hours just to listen to music and then there were no mic systems and they were artists used to perform uh, uh, you know to a huge crowd and there would be pin drop silence in the crowd lest the last one does not hear what the singer is singing now with in between in our generation these uh, music uh, the tradition of you know singing were restricted to sabhas and so we had to travel to the sabhas to listen to people over a period of time you know it is at the click of a button and we can actually access great musicians music uh, i myself uh, was introduced to Uh, carnatic music through my parents who were vidwans uh, and uh, my father was not a vidwan my mother was a vidwan my father was a gnb rasika so you know uh, there was never a day then when he would not sing todi raga because gnb's uh, uh, the sing was todi and uh, he would sing todi early in the morning and we would wake up to it my mother would play it on the veena and those were the times like when we we learned music you know the 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 now you people are so so lucky you can listen to mlv you can listen to ml vasanta kokulam you can listen to all the great dk patamal ji you can do, listen to everybody because it's thought all recorded and it is being given to you and these people are brought back to life by spikmaki and this is the owner surface 
that speak my kids and i'm so proud to be associated my school students are so proud to be associated with speak my k uh, ramesh thank you for bringing speak my k to us and uh, we would we are always ready to host any program of any great musician that you bring us to bring to us and uh, now i've had you know i've spoken enough i would hand over uh, the course of events children who are all ready and you know um, prepared thank you love you so much thank you so much madam thank you Vidushi Madras Salitangi Vasanta Kumari, popularly referred to as MLB, was a Carnatic musician and playback singer for film songs in many Indian languages. MLB and her contemporaries D K Patamal and M S Subbulakshmi are popularly referred to as the female genius of Carnatic music. A prime disciple of N Bala Subramaniam, she was the youngest among the established musicians of that era, and was the youngest female to receive the Sangeeta Kalanidhi Award. In 1967, she was honored with the Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian award by the government of India. Her daughter, K. Sri Vidya, was an actress in Tamil and Malayalam languages. As well as being a much sought after playback singer for films, MLB popularized unfamiliar ragas, and her ragam tanam palavis were considered celebrated. Additionally, she popularized the composition of Hari Dasis. Her most famous disciples include Sri Vidya, Sudha Raghunathan, Charmati Ramachandran. ये कन्याकुमारी योगम संदनम वी कावेरी रोस मुरली कृष्णन मीना सुब्रमण्यम एंड यमुना आर मुगम गो हेड कन स्वामी अर्ली लाइफ एम एल वी वॉज बॉन्ड टू अ म्यूजिकल फैमिली और फादर हुतनूर अय्या स्वामी अयर वॉज नॉट एन म्यूजिशियन हर मदर ललिता मी वॉज ऑल्सो अ म्यूजिशियन एंड देश बांधु चित्रंजन दास डाइट इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव Lalita Nee came out with a song to as a tribute to his patriotism. A rare gramophone record of her rendition of this song is said to be in P. Sundaram's possession. Amal Vee's school education was in Madras, in a convent where she was set to pursue a medical career until Carnatic musician G. N. Balasubramaniam became her guru. In her own words, my parents had rendered yeoman service to Carnatic music. They were mainly instrumental in popularizing the compositions of Purandara Dasa in South India. They were not keen that I should enter the music field and give me general education, but in the musical atmosphere of my house, I had ample opportunity to practice vocal music. Once Jain Bala Subramaniam heard me sing, and he prevailed upon my parents to place me under his tutelage. It was he who was responsible for the status I occupy in the music world today. On to you, Deepshika. learning carnatic music mlb had the privilege of learning carnatic music from gn bala subramaniam also known as gnb she was also gnb's first disciple indra menon said gnb was a self taught artist his racy style sparkling with brigas and nuances never heard before revealed a new range of colors on the musician's palette the brisk tempo unleashed by his powerful and pliable voice has found many admirers and imitators among the younger generations though it raised many an eyebrow among the senior with ones was his music according to sampradaya or not was the question that was frequently asked to answer gnb was a genius so much so that what might have seemed like a deviation from tradition was acceptable from him though it might not have been so from a lesser artist His personality, bold innovations, and technical virtuosity became an inspiration for an entire generation of musicians. After G and B, speed and brigaladean music became the vogue to the extent that to be true to one's self and to sing according to one's vocal capacity required a great deal of courage. Emily made her debut in 1940 at 12 years old by accompanying her mother at a recital. Two years later, she gave a solo recital in Bengaluru. She also cut her first 78 RPM disc. From then on, her career took on a geometric progression as a stage artist, and by 1950, she had established herself as a front ranker. A music critic said that MLB brought the struggle of women in the world of music to a successful culmination. Her music was said to have more male characteristics than that of any other female musician. Over to you, Sailakshna. Her own musical style, MLB imbibed much of GNB style, but did not make a fetish of speed and struck out on her own. evolving an inimitable style of her own while mlv was known more for her cerebral style rather than her emotional one this was compensated for her rich and emotional 
the original Mano Dharma. Similar to GNB, she was said to be a genius in her tricky, instantaneous, brilliant Mano Dharma. MLV did adopt her guru's idea of a quick, impressionistic sketch of Raga covering the two octaves at the start, but settled down to a reposeful elaboration, unfolding it gradually with her virtuosity in the form of Riga cascades appearing only where necessary. She was careful not to carry an excess what her versatile voice was capable of. Over to Sriniketan. MLV's mastery over vocal techniques was comprehensive and complete. She could render several different ragas with her alapana and kalpana swaras, suitably embellished with Shruti Beda. Her listeners had the same ecstatic experience when she sang, and more particularly in a lightning manner when she shifted gracefully from the melodic world of one raga in one pitch to another raga in another pitch. In this context, one has to refer to raga combinations like Shanmuga Priya, Sankara Bharanam, Bhairavi Kama, Abogi Valaji to illustrate this point. GMB himself says, Vasanti typifies real discipleship. She observes all but presents her own glorious creation. Kanasami, would you like to talk about Purandara Dasa tradition? Yes, Srinivita. Naitani, MLB's mother, had a vast repertoire of Purandara Dasa critics. She passed on this tradition to her daughter, MLB. As a result, like T. Brinda, who got Shetriya Pradams to the public platform, and M. S. Subhulakshmi, who got Annamacharya Kutis to the public arena, MLB popularized the Devaranamas of Purandara Dasa. On to you, Srinikaitan. Sindhu Bhairavi, she popularized the composition of Kalyana Gopalam, composed by Narayana Tirtha Indraga Sindhu Bhairavi. She also popularized the composition Venkata Chala Nilayam by, by Purandara Dasa in the same raga. Hindustani maestro Bade Gulam Ali Khan was generous in his praise for her music. Sudha Raghunathan mentions MLV Yama, her soulmate was Bade Gulam Ali Khan Sab, who taught her the nuances of Sindhu Bhairavi in the Hindustani side. Deepshika, would you like to talk about Ragam Thanam Pallavi? Yes, please. Ragam Thanam Pallavi. MLB's fourth was Ragam Dhanam Pallavi, where she not only maintained the tradition brought to stage by DK Pantamal, but enriched it in her own unique way. A. Kanya Kumari, who had accompanied MLB on violin for almost two decades, says, MLB Akka had a sharp mind and good memory, and I've never seen her practice a song or a ragam, or for that, a matter of Ragam Dhanam Pallavi before a concert. Sugara, Sudha Raghunathan, a prime disciple of MLB, remarked that, in my 12 years of learning under her, I had never seen Amma practicing at home, but to my great surprise, she would compress, she would compose a Pallavi in the, in the car on the way to the concert. Playback singing. In 1946, MLV was also a playback singer. Her first big hit was in the 91 film Manamagal, where she sang the song Ella Vin Babayam in Ragamalika and Subramanya Bharadiya's evergreen composition Chin and Jirikili. In the 1960 film Raja Desigo, MLB also sang another song, Parkadal Ali Mele, which was well received and later became popular in the Bharatanatyam recitals. In later years, MLB would also sing these songs towards the end of her Carnatic music concerts, and today, many musicians often include them in their repertoire. MLB also sang Aya Sami in the 1951 film Oreiragal. This song was based on the song Gore Gore from the film Samadhi, which was in turn based on the Latin American song Chico Chico from Puerto Rico from the film Cuban Beat. Other songs MLB sang include Sendamari Kannani, Vannakthamu, and Adu Maram Aral Jodi in the films Vikram Adityan, Vaira Malai, Sornakini. Incidentally, each of these songs contained the Raga Kalyani and were also very well received. MLB sang the Dashavatara song for Bukailas, like Munnirta Pavalinshu Nagashayana, while Kamala Kumari danced in a classical way. She sang for films until 1970. Over to you, Sai Personality. As one of the Tom Prating stage artists, MLB was noted for her charm, grace, warmth, self-restraint, and humility. A self-restraint as an artist can be understood from her own words. Regards in fast tempo should adhere the Shruti and above all, true music must touch the listener's heart. MLV, however, maintained a philosophy. A certain, certain concert is a daily test of a caliber of a musician. A slight lapse may let the musician down and a constant vigil is essential. Go ahead, Sriniketan. Disciples, MLV taught her daughter, Kesri Vidya, who at the age of 10 was ready to perform and sang very much like MLV. Sri Vidya, however, 
wanted to pursue a career in the film industry and went on to become a notable actress in Indian film. By coincidence, Srividya made her first acting debut in a Tamil movie as a concert vocalist. It was her mother, MLB, who sang for Srividya. The Asavari Raga Kriti, MLB, sang for daughter Srividya, mouth in the film, and it have been equally in place in a concert in December season. MLB trained several other students, and many of them are top ranking musicians today. Some of the notable musicians have studied under MLB include Sudhar Agnadan, Yogam Sandhanam, Charmati Ramachandran, Rose Murali Krishnan, V. Kaveri, Vanaja Narayanan, T. M. Prabhavati, Sankari Krishnan, Meena Subramayam, Jayanti Sridharan, Jayanti Mohan, Bamam Vishweshwaran, and Nirmala Srinivasan. She also taught music at Rishi Valley School, started by Jiddu Krishnamurthy and Yamuna Aramugam, was a Malaysian government scholar, went under the Gurukula Vasan system for her for two entire years. Saraswati Srinivasan was the first disciple of MLB. Even after marriage, Saraswati Srinivasan joined with MLB and gave some concert. Over to you, Kandaswami. Awards. MLB received Badma Bhushan in 1967, Sangeeta Nadak Academy Award in 1970, doctorate degree for her work with regards to Pundra Dasa contributions to music in 1976, Sangeeta Kalanudi and Isai Peraringer in 1977, and Sangeeta Kala Sigamani in 1987. She was a much sought, sought after playback singer in the late 1940s and in the mid 1960s. I think, children, thank you very much. I think it looks like you have covered the entire gamut of uh, MLV Amma's, uh, what you call, achievements, her background. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce uh, Vidushi Shobha Ramesh. Shobha, you can actually put your uh, mic on. So as a, as, as a part of Pitmake, we are happy to invite a graded artist, graded Karnatic classical vocalist since 1990 and a performing musician, Vidushi Shobha Ramesh. She is a director of Nirvana Academy, teaching music and theory to several students across the globe. Since the lockdown, she has conducted close to 200 virtual online programs, some of them on St. Tyagaraja, Muthuswami Dikshita, Kanchi Acharya, and Adi Shankara, to name a few. Today, she has accepted that she will give a few precious glimpses on Dr. MLV today. Shobhaji, you, can, you may start your Thank you, Dr. Ramesh. Interaction. And hi to all the kids. Sugandhi ji, hello. Hello. Very happy to see that you are, uh, your school is doing such a great work and you are doing such a great work towards fake Mackey and towards popularizing Carnatic music. So that's great. So I'm truly honored to be asked to give a glimpse of the great master musician, Sangeeta Kalanidhi, Dr. Srimati ML Vasadhu Kumari today, her music. A little glimpses of her music today. I don't know if I'm that qualified to do so. Uh, though I have been a, I'm a practicing musician, but she's like totally above the, like she's so much above us that I wish I do justice to uh, her music. As a child, I was only exposed to listening to Bharat Ratna, Srimati M. S. Subalakshmi, Amma's music and her uh, slokas that could, uh, that I, I felt could uh, virtually bring the heavens down to earth. So, but later after marriage, after Dr. Ram listening to Dr. Ramesh's vast collection of MLV, I slowly began listening to her music. And uh, when I got a chance to listen to her, I felt that uh, I've come face to face with an exceptional encyclopedia of music. Truly a master musician who wove magic with her cascading sangadis and unbelievably inexhaustible repertoire that kept me down, dumbfounded and still searching for adjectives to describe her music. Her melodious voice, coupled with an amazing vidvat and mastery over all aspects of music, whether it is ragalapanas, kritis, kalpanasvaras, ragam tanam pallavis, all this rightfully earned her a well-deserved doctorate degree in music as her music itself was like a thesis that could be explored. Without talking much, I will straight away move on to the singing part of it. And uh, 
first of all we were uh, uh, most of us are exposed to ms subalakshmi's venkatesha suprabhadam and uh, vishnu sahasranamam but uh, shrimati ml vasant kumari ji also sang a lot of shlokas which were very very popular uh, one of them is the great soundary lari composed by uh, shri adi shankara bhagavad pada then we have lalita sahasranamam then we have devi mahatmyam which is sung exceptionally well in different ragas and not a shloka form but in different ragas which is extremely nice to listen to and uh, uh, one of the uh, very uh, uh, very nice uh, compositions that she has done is the tirupavai very uh, good set of uh, verses that she has sung which is very apt to sing today because it today happens to be a part of margai masam so i would like to sing this famous tirupavai of hers um margai ting am i audible am i audible margai ting madhi nirainda nannalal margai ting madhi nirainda nannalal nigada podu vi ोपुमर ोल मुगत नारायण ने नाम के नारायण ने नाम के पारी तरवा नारायण ने नाम के पारी तरवान पारूर भुगाय बड़ी से लोर पवार पारूर भुगाय बड़ी से लोर पवार so she has this uh, she had this uh, great tact of singing one sangeeti in different variations and embellishing a kriti in no way that i have seen any other musician do so because one line could be sung in you know five to 10 different ways that could uh, you know enhance the beauty of the kriti and the very line occupied and just bringing out the meaning of the song so much better let's uh, go to her purandra das devar namas which she popularized to great extent and uh, today if so many are singing purandra das devanamas in karnatak local music concerts in chennai we owe a lot to mlv amma because uh, she has not only sung the devanamas but also the uga bogas which are small shlokas which are sung before the uh, devanamas like anayu uh, karatare aadi mula bandante she had different uh, shlokas before each devanama she sang her one of her favorite devanamas uh, my favorite devanamas each uh, each of them are my favorites but this is my very uh, very fa- very very um, uh, favorite one most favorite one you can say inu daya barade dasana mele pannagaya shayana shri parama purusha re दासन मेले पन्नक शयन श्री परम पुरुष हरे वन कैन टॉक एंडलेसली अबाउट हर देवर नामास बिकॉज ईच वन इज बेटर देन दी अदर her choice of ragas is also very apt towards the meaning of the song too the next uh, one which i would like to say is she was the first to introduce abhang singing 
Abang saw those uh, small, uh, you know, devotional verses which are sung with great devotional fervor, uh, especially in Maharashtra. It's popular in Maharashtra and it's sung in a Marathi language. And she was the very first musician to introduce Abhangs in the Carnatic music uh, concerts. And today it has occupied a, a piece of a piece de la resistance because it's like very, very popular in Carnatic music concerts now. One of the first few Abhangs she sang would like to sing one or two lines. Mm -hmm. She sang this in a, you know, Hindu Sani Raga Maru Biha. Oh, in the Madhima Shruti actually. Oh. Maze Manurata Purna Kari Deva Maze Manurata Purna Kari Deva Keshava Madhava Narayana Maze Manurata Purna Kari Deva Keshava Madhava Narayana Maze Manurata Purna Kari Deva she actually, this goes to show that music has absolutely no language and it's beyond all language barriers. It's just, it's language of emotion, that's all. And the language doesn't matter. So because Abhangs caught on to Carnatic music circuit and today people are singing all different Abhangs in different ways. And it's become a very popular, a concert without Abhang is still un incomplete today. And we owe a big thanks to MLB Yama. There's one more Abhang she sang so beautifully that even the Maharashtrians used to wonder how many variations for this one line? Amrita Huni Goda Namatuze Deva in Ragam Bhim Palase. It will be like Abedi, it will sound like Abedi Ragam. Amrita Huni Goda. Now, Amrita Huni Goda is your name is more sweeter than nectar, O oh God. Amrita Huni Goda. That is the meaning of it. Amruta Huni Goda Namatuze Deva Namatuze Deva Amruta Huni Goda Namatuze Deva Namatuze Deva Manamaze Keshava Manamaze Keshava and in the next line, in the Anupalavishans, in that Kirtani Besatai, Kirtani Besatai, Kirtani Besatai, Kirtani Besatai. So this one line is being sung so beautifully in different variations of this line. It's just amazing that a person can sing uh, abhangs to such perfection. And she was also, uh, I'm trying to fit in how much ever I can in the time given to me, so I may go a bit fast. So. Uh, I hope I'm understandable. So <laughs> the next one she sang is the Ashtapadis, which she, Jai Deva Ashtapadis, which she popularized a lot. And uh, one of the famous uh, Ashtapadis is in uh, Raga Subhinesha Ranjini. <laughs> Subhinesha Ranjini Ragam, very beautiful Ragam. It's a Janya of Shanmukha Priya, the 56th Melakatta. Sagama Bani Sa. Sani Pamagasta Hari Vira Mutrava Duni Tate Vilasini Vilasati Kele Pare Hari Vira Mutrava Duni Tate Chandana Chachitaina Kale Bare Pita Vasana Bana Mani Chandana Chachitaina Kale Bare Pita Vasana Bana Mani Kele Chalan Mani
ಕೇಳಿ ಜಲಮಣಿ ಉಳ್ಳಿಜಲ ಮಣಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿಗ ಪಂಚಯುಗ ಸ್ಮಿತ ಅಮೇಝಿಂಗ್ ಅಷ್ಟಪದಿ ವಿಚ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ರೋಲೋ ಕೋಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಎಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆಲೋಡಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ರಾಗ ದಟ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮನೀಶ್ ರಂಜನಿ ದಟ್ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ರಾಗ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ರೇರ್ ರಾಗ ಶಿ ಹಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಜಿ ಎನ್ ಬಾಲಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಿ ಎನ್ ಬಾಲಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯಂ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರೈಸ್ ಮೇ ಮೆನಿ ರೇರ್ ರಾಗಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಶಿವಶಕ್ತಿ ಅಮೃತ ಬಿಹಾಗ್ ಆಂದೋಲಿಕ so i will just sing one or two lines of shiva shakti which is popularized by a detailed raga alapana of shiva shakti and a detailed kalpana swara so the learners can learn very easily even listening to it how the scale of the raga is how the kalpana swaras go so she was a born teacher she was a great teacher so i'll just sing one or two lines of shiva shakti ಸಗ ಮದ ಸಿ ದ ಮದ ಸಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ವರ ಸಿಂಧ ಆರೋಹಣ ಸಗ ಮದ ಸಿ ದ ಮಗ ಸನ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೆಂತ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಕರ್ತ ನಾಟಕ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಕ್ರಜ ನೀಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಕ್ರಜ ನೀಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಕ್ರಜ ನೀಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಕ್ರಜ ನೀಲ ಶಿವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಐಕ್ಯೂಪಿ ಶಿವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಐಕ್ಯೂಪಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಕ್ರಜ ನೀಲ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ i love this song and it's so such a such a mesmerizing melody and uh, she did full justice by expounding the full raga alapana full kalpana swaras and i'm just amazed when i see each song of hers another song which is only sung by her and it has never been sung by any musician ever is the ragam amrita bihag the song made by her guru uh, shri bala subramanyam you must have never even heard this song amrita beha is a janya of the 65th melakatta mecha kalyani ra 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 na 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 samaga panida sa tanida maya sa sa samaga panida sa it goes so like a roller coaster you know even the chitta swaram sar a real roller coaster right it makes it all the more attractive and captivating for the listeners and for me to sing to samaga panida sa sanida maya sa kamala charane kanakarune kamala charane kanakarune karuna amrita rasapurane kamala charane ಅಮರೇಶ ನೂತೆ ಅಪರಾಜಿತ ಅಮರೇಶ ನೂತೆ ಅಪರಾಜಿತ ಅಮರೇಶ ನೂತೆ ಅಪರಾಜಿತ ರಾಮ ಶಾರದೆ ಸದಾ ವಂದಿತೆ ರಾಮ ಶಾರದೆ ಸದಾ ವಂದಿತೆ ಗಮಗ ಸನಿರ ಸಮಗ ಗಮಗ ಸನಿರ ಸಮಗ ಪನಿದ ಸನಿದ ಮಗ ಸ ಗಮನಿದ ಸನಿದ ಮಗ ಸನಿದ ಸಮಗ ಪನಿದ ಸನಿದ ಮಗ ಸ ಗಮನಿದ ಸನಿದ ಸ ಮಗ ಸನಿದ ತ ಸನಿದ ಪ ಮಗ ಪನಿದ ಸನಿದ ಕಮಲ ಚರಣಿ ಗಮಗ ಸನಿದ ಸಮಗ 
Only an MLB could do this in perfection. And uh, this song has never been sung in any concert till now. I still don't know why, but it's a great song to sing and explore. And she was the first uh, musician to sing the uh, Muthuswami Dikshita, the, one of the great, uh, the trinity of music. Uh, Sri Muthuswami Dikshita's famous 14 Raga uh, Raga Malika, called Chatur Dasha Raga Malika. In 14 Ragas, I'll just sing one line. Uh, Chatur Dasha Raga Malika, it is called. Uh, uh, first, uh, starting with Sri Ragam. Sri Then one more thing is she was the first to introduce Kabir Bhajans. We, we were only used to listen to Meera Bhajan sung by MS Amma uh, in concerts, but she was the first to introduce this Hindi Bhajan of the famous Sant Kabir. And she made these a few songs very popular, like this particular song. So one can listen to this in the YouTube. I will quickly wind up by telling quickly the other point. She was an expert in Ragam Tanam Pallavi. She chose great complex dalas for, uh, exp exp uh, you know, by, for singing the Ragam Tanam Pallavis. And she uh, also had this Graha Bedam done in Raga Delineations, which is only, uh, you know, understandable for, to a discerning ear. And it is like a modal shift of the process of shifting the tonic note to another note to arrive in the same Raga while delineating a particular Raga. So that is an excellent talent, which only she possessed to do it with extreme uh, dexterity and simplicity. And she popularized the lanas of Sri Laguri Jairaman like Then her Murugan songs were great. Each one was better than the other, like Ayaga Ayaga. Then Manasara Madhya Nai Shivan Maganai Dina Nirati Gani Dunne Ayaga 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 Enje Ayke Day Tore Devande. It doesn't. The list is endless. Then she popularized Bharatiya songs like Sendamil Nadinum, Sendamil Nadinum, Kodini Le, in the Tain Mandripagi De, Kadini Le. Each one is better than the other. And uh, last but not the least, I will just like to end it with one more uh, point because the, I could go on and on because the list is endless. And uh, she popularized the composer N.S. Ramachandra Ayer's compositions. And uh, this particular song, she has popularized it, and so many people sing it today. Shri Maganapade, Shri Balabha Pade, 
He happens to be our relation also, Ellis Ramachandra, this great composer, a distant relative. And today, she has so many singers, and she has sung the Swarak Kalpanas in a very difficult place. I will end here. I'm very thankful to Spikma K and Dr. Ramesh Vishnadan for giving me this chance to talk about the great MLV Yama. Uh, and uh, I applaud you for the wonderful job that you're doing with the great master series. God bless you. And God, God bless all the children who have so, so nicely spoken. And thank you, Sugandhi ma'am. Thank you too. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Thank you, ma'am. Shobha ji, thank you so much. Sugandhi madam. I think the students must be literally waiting to watch the video. So I'm going to be playing the video immediately. And uh, so... ML Vasant Kumari Kajananam Bhuta Ganati Sevitam Kapitta Jambhu Palasara Bhatritam Umasutam Chokra Vinashakaranam Namabhi Vigneshwara Pada Pankajam Namami Vigneshwara Pada Pankajam The four women singers who had broken through the male bastion in classical music in the 1930s were M.S. Subalakshmi, D.K. Pattamal, T. Brinda and N.C. Vasanta Kokilam. With the coming of Vasanta Kumari, the triumph of woman was brought to a successful culmination. She soon filled the void created by the tragic death of N.C. Vasanta Kokilam at the age of 39 and became one of the female quartet who dominated Carnatic music for half a century. <laughs> Vasanthu Kumari was the daughter of Ayya Sami Ayyar and Lalitangi. Ayya Sami belonged to Kutanur near Kumbakonam, which is famous for its temple dedicated to Saraswati, where it is said newborn babies are taken on full moon night to be blessed. Vasanthu Kumari was also taken there soon after her birth. All her life, in the midst of her preoccupations, she would visit Kutanur at least once a year to pray to the family deity. Shatrugna Bharatasya Pashwadalayo Shatrugna Bharatasya Pashwadalayo Shatrugna Shatrugna Bharatasya Pashwadalayo Vaivadi Kone Suche Shatrugna Shatrugna Bharatasya Parshwadalayot Vaivati Kone Shuche Vaivati Kone Shuche Vaivati Vaivati Kone Shuche Sugrivascha vibhishanascha yuvara Kara suto jambava Sugrivascha 
Vasanthi herself had dreams of becoming a doctor. But fate had something else in store for her. One day in 1938, her parents were rehearsing for a program on Jaya Deva to be broadcast by the corporation radio located at the Ripon building. Also participating in the program were G. N. Balasubramanyam and D. K. Pattamal. Vasanthi sat by herself humming the songs they sang. G. N. B. heard her. At the end of the day, he asked Lalitangi what he proposed to do with her extremely gifted daughter. He followed up the question with the command, send her to me and I shall train her to become a musician. But Lalitangi was still doubtful about the prospect of a musical career for her daughter and did not respond. But genius cannot be suppressed and has a way of asserting itself. After a couple of years, when she and her husband approached GNB for assistance in connection with the publication of a Purandara Dasa's compositions, he repeated the question, Where is your daughter? Why did you not bring her with you? He obviously had not forgotten the precocious child he had met two years ago. This time, Lalitangi had no choice. Also, the situation had changed. During the wartime evacuation, schools were closed and MLV missed the chance to complete her education. She was taken to GNB and went through 10 years of training under him. The best tribute one can pay to GNB is that after his own revolutionary Bani, his greatest contribution to Carnatic music was the discovery of Vasanta Kumari. <laughs> Kumari's rise was meteoric and after 1950, she became a major force to be reckoned with. With the twin advantages of a musical lineage and the leading musician of the time for her guru, it was smooth sailing for her. With a style that had more male characteristics than those of any other female musician, MLV assumed a commanding position among the musical pantheon. More cerebral than emotional, she excelled in all aspects of improvisation and opened up new worlds for lovers of Carnatic music. In her alapanas, she displaced a hitherto unprecedented flow of ideas and the treasures of a rich and fertile imagination. 
She always had something new to say and could give a distinct swarupa to unfamiliar ragas with hardly any identity. With a deep, rich and resonant voice, she would weave a maze of complex raga phrases and shock one out of one's own senses. The depth and weight of her voice gave her style its special stamp. <laughs> With her wide ranging repertory, it is difficult to say which her favorite ragas were. But her alapanas in Thodi and Kalyani had a very special flavor. Her Thodi was marked by grandeur. It was so exhaustive that it left nothing unsaid about a richly endowed, multifaceted raga. adventurous and flamboyant than any other musician of her time, Vasanthu Kumari was not one to take her profession casually. She was a perfectionist and while she made last minute decisions and appeared on the stage without a flurry of preparations, her concerts were professional from start to finish. In her presidential address to the Music Academy, she observed, a concert is a daily test of a caliber of a musician. A slight lapse may let the musician down and a constant vigil is essential. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Like her guru, Vasanta Kumari was interested in Hindustani music and even underwent training in that system. The mutual admiration between MLV and Bade Gulam Ali Khan is well known. It started from the days when her guru prostrated himself before the Ustad. Once Gulam Ali Khan arrived at Edward Elliot's road unannounced. During that memorable visit, he sang Malkaus for three hours. MLV's husband R. Krishnamurti recalled a journey when both Bade Gulam Ali Khan and MLV travelled to Bombay by the same train. In the course of the journey, Gulam Ali came to her compartment, saying he was feeling sick in his compartment as he could not sing. They then started to sing in turn. During the segment of the journey between Pune and Bombay, when the train passed electrical posts at regular intervals, he would sing between two posts and have MLV respond between the next two. My to Bhakti was a dominant trait in her and she attributed everything to GNB. MLV's record as a guru is impressive. She loved teaching and has remarked that as teachers we learn more, we become our own guru. She had many shishyas and nearly all of them have excelled in their careers. <laughs> Kumari was really and truly a Joan of Arc of Carnatic music, for she daringly entered areas which most others fear to tread. Her mastery was of course abundantly evident in her presentation of the major ragas. She showed rare talent and courage. However, in presenting full-blown alapanas of ragas like Andolika, Mohanam, Kalyani, Saramati and Shiva Shakti. <laughs> The <laughs> 
While a Rasika would listen wondering how she could sing complicated Janya Ragas like these so effectively, without any repetition of musical phrases, she would romp along as if it were merely a child's play. Hari 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 ri ga mukh vadhu ni kare Hari ri ga mukh vadhu ni kare Hari ri ga mukh vadhu ni kare Vilasini vilasati keli pare Hari ri ga mukh vadhu ni kare Vilasini vilasati keli pare Hari ri ga mukh vadhu Bye. <laughs> 
Hari 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 Hamuta Madhuni Kari Vasant Kumari's career spanned exactly 50 years. Struck by ill health, she like her guru died very young. Her name will remain etched in the annals of music for her unique bani and for bringing to light the devarnamas of Sri Purandara Dasa, the Karnataka Sangeeta Pitamaha. Abaro Krishnaya Krishnaya Abaro Krishnaya Ninna Bhattaramane Gita Krishnaya Baro Krishna Nimra Bhattar Bane Gita Krishna Baro Krishna Baro Nina Mukha Toro Nina Sarikaro Jagadare திருமதி எம் எல் வசந்தகுமாரி நட்சத்திர இசை கலைஞர் இனிமையின் பேரரசி பன்னிரு ஆண்டுகளாக குழுமையான இந்த குன்றுகளின் நடுவில் பக்குவமான அரிதான வாழ்க்கை இந்திய கலாச்சாரத்தை பேணி காத்த இந்த நிறுவனத்தில் அவருடைய தீவிரமான விருப்பம் மொழி ஜாதி இனம் ஆகிய எல்லா எல்லைகளையும் கடந்து கர்நாடக இசைக்கலைஞர்களை ஒரு புதிய பாணியில் உருவாக்குவதே எங்கே மொழி பிரிக்கிறதோ அங்கே இசை இணைக்கிறது அதை அவர் சாதித்தார் அவருடைய எழுச்சி மிக்க அழைப்புக்கு இளையவர்களிடமிருந்து தன்னிச்சையாக வந்த விடை பலன் தருவதாக இருந்தது அவர்களுக்கு பேரன்புக்குரிய சகோதரியாக இருந்தார் அக்கா இவ்வளவு மகத்தான இசைவாணியிடம் நாங்கள் கற்றுக்கொண்டது மறக்க முடியாதது அவர் எங்களுக்கு ஆசிரியர் மட்டுமல்ல நண்பர் வழிகாட்டி எந்த நேரத்தில் எந்த ஒரு பிரச்சனையை நாங்கள் கொண்டு சென்றாலும் கனிவுடன் தீர்வு தந்து உதவும் உயர்ந்த மனம் படைத்தவர் முதலில் அவரை பார்ப்பதற்கே பயந்தேன் ஆனால் அவர் மிகவும் எளிமையானவர் பழகுவதற்கு இனியவர் ஆம் 
திருமதி எம் எல் வசந்தகுமாரி மிகச்சிறந்த இசைக்கலைஞர் ஆசிரியர் இவருடைய பெயர் வருங்கால சந்ததியினருக்கு இசைதாகத்தை ஊட்டும் பிறவி மேதையான இவர் பிறந்தது ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி எட்டாம் ஆண்டு ஜூலை மூன்றாம் தேதி கர்நாடக இசையில் ஈடுபாடுடைய இவரது பெற்றோர்கள் தமிழ்நாட்டின் தஞ்சை மாவட்டத்தைச் சார்ந்த புத்தனூர் கிராமத்தில் வாழ்ந்தனர் தந்தை ஐயாசாமி ஐயரும் தாயார் லலிதாங்கியும் புரந்தரதாசரின் தேவர் நாமாக்களை பிரபலமாக்கிய பணி இணையற்றதாகும் அரிது அரிது அழகிய சிற்றூர் கூத்தனூரில் சரஸ்வதி தேவியின் ஆலயம் அமைந்தது அதேபோல் அரிது ஒரு ரத்தினம் இங்கிருந்து இசை உலகுக்கு கிடைத்தது முத்தனூரில் அருளாட்சி புரியும் சரஸ்வதி தேவி ஆசி பொழிந்தாள் இச்சிறிய மழலை கர்நாடக இசையின் நுண்காற்றை சுவாசிக்க தொடங்கினாள் இளம் வயதிலேயே ராகங்களை அவளால் விரிவாக பாட முடிந்தது அவள் தன் தாயின் கச்சேரியில் உடன் பாடுவாள் ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி நாற்பத்தி ஒன்றில் பெங்களூரில் பதிமூன்றே வயதான வசந்தி நோய் உற்றிருந்த தன் தாய்க்கு பதிலாக பாடுமாறு பணிக்கப்பட்டாள் மதராஸ் லலிதாங்கி வசந்தகுமாரி இசை உலகில் பிரவேசித்தார் அவளது வசீகரமான தோற்றமும் இனிய குரலும் இசைப்பிரியர்களை கவர்ந்தது திரு ஜி என் பியை கூட அவர் அவளுக்கு கற்பிக்க விரும்பினார் வசந்தி மருத்துவராக விரும்பிய போதிலும் திரு ஜி என் பியிடம் மாணவியாக இருந்து பத்து ஆண்டுகள் பயின்றார் ஜி என் பி அரியக்குடி மகாராஜபுரம் விஸ்வநாத ஐயர் டி என் ஆர் போன்றோருடைய இசை சாராம்சத்தை இணைத்துக் கொண்டு தமக்கென ஒரு பாணியை உருவாக்கிக் கொண்டார் அதே போல அவருடைய மாணவி எம் எல் வி ஜி என் பியிடம் பயிற்சி பெற்றதையும் தம் பெற்றோர்களிடம் கற்றதையும் சேர்த்து அவர் வழியில் தனக்கென ஒரு தனியான பாணியை தோற்றுவித்தார் இந்த பாணி எதனுடைய நகலும் அல்ல இது எம் எல் வி பாணி இரண்டாம் உலக போரினால் அவளது தந்தையின் வருவாய் நலிவு பெற்று பண பற்றாக்குறை ஏற்பட்டது வசந்தியின் பள்ளி படிப்பு நின்றது குரு ஜி என் பி பல இசை நிகழ்ச்சிகளை பெற வழி செய்தார் அதன் பிறகு அவள் ஒரு நட்சத்திர இசை கலைஞராக உருவானார் தென்னிந்தியாவில் நடந்த முக்கியமான இசை விழாக்கள் எதுவும் அவருடைய கச்சேரி இல்லாமல் நிகழ்ந்ததில்லை பாரம்பரியத்தை வளப்படுத்தும் உயர்தரமான ஓர் இசைக்கலைஞர் ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி ஐம்பத்தி ஒன்றில் விகடம் கிருஷ்ணமூர்த்தியை மணந்தார் மகன் சங்கரராமன் மகள் ஸ்ரீவித்யாவை பெற்ற பெருமைக்குரிய தாயானாள் என் தாயார் வீட்டில் குழந்தைகளிடம் பேரன்பு கொண்டு மிகுந்த பாசத்தை பொழிவார் நேரம் கிடைக்கும் சமயங்களில் எல்லாம் எங்களுடன் தான் இருந்து அன்பு பாராட்டுவார் வீட்டில் அவர் இசை சாதகம் செய்து பார்த்த நினைவில்லை ஆகிய குரு சிஷியர்களிடம் அடக்கம் என்பது ஒரு நற்பண்பாக அமைந்திருந்தது 
இருவருமே இசை பிரியர்களின் ரசனைக்கே முதலிடம் தந்து அதை நிறைவேற்ற முனைவார்கள் இருவரும் ஒவ்வொரு கச்சேரியையும் தங்களுக்கு ஒரு பரீட்சையாக எண்ணி திறமுடன் நிகழ்த்துவார்கள் கற்பனை நயம் கூடிய மனோதர்ம சங்கீதம் அவர் தன் இனிய குரலுடன் கலந்து வழங்கிய போது ரசிகர்களுக்கு பேரானந்தம் ஏற்படும் என் தாயார் சுதர்சன் என்ற திரைப்படத்தில் பி யு சின்னப்பாவுடன் நடித்தார் ஆனால் அதை தொடரவில்லை அதன் பின்னர் என் தாயாருக்கு கர்நாடக இசையை படங்களில் பாடுவதே திரைப்பட பங்கும் பணியுமாக அமைந்தது திரை உலகின் இழப்பு இசை உலகுக்கு இனிய வரப்பிரசாதமாயிற்று மாலையில் நான் பள்ளியிலிருந்து வீட்டுக்கு ஓடோடி வருவேன் காரணம் எங்கள் வீட்டில் பல இசை கலைஞர்கள் பாடிக்கொண்டிருப்பதும் இசை நுணுக்கங்கள் பற்றி உரையாடி கொண்டிருப்பதும் கேட்பதற்கு ஒரு கருத்தரங்கம் போல இருக்கும் some kind of discussions will be going on they will all be singing together such was the kind of childhood i had ரசிகர்கள் விரும்பியதை வழங்கினார் ஆனால் தரத்தில் ஒருபோதும் சமரசம் செய்து கொள்ள விரும்பியதில்லை அவரது ராக ஆலாபனைகளும் ஸ்வர பிரஸ்தாரங்களும் நய நுணுக்கமுடைய நல்ல முத்துக்கள் அவர் அபூர்வ ராகங்களான சிவசக்தி ஆந்தோலிகா போன்றவற்றை நேர்த்தியுடன் வெளிப்படுத்தினார் அவரது பாடாந்தரம் வளமானது மராத்தி அபங்கு முதல் தமிழ் திருப்பாவை தியாகராஜ கிருதிகள் வரை எல்லையே இல்லை எனக்கு வாசித்த பக்கம் அதிகாரத்தில் எல்லோரையும் என்று நான் நினைக்காமல் இருக்கக்கூடிய கோபாலகிருஷ்ணன் எம் எஸ் கோபாலகிருஷ்ணன் அதற்கப்புறம் திருவிழு சுப்பிரமணியம் கிருஷ்ணமூர்த்தி ராம் அவர் இல்லை போ மறைந்துவிட்டார் எம்பா திரையர் அவரும் இல்லை மறந்துவிட்டார் ஒரு சமயம் சண்முக பிரியா ராகத்தை நான் வாசிக்கும் போது அதன் மரபுகளை விட்டு அப்பால் சஞ்சரித்த போது ரசிகர்கள் அதில் வசீகரிக்கப்பட்டு வரவேற்று கரகோஷம் செய்தார்கள் ஆனால் எம்எல்வி அது சமயம் சற்று முறைப்பாக இருந்தார் அவருக்கு கர்நாடக இசையில் மரபு மீறி பாடுவது என்பது சற்றும் விருப்பமில்லாத ஒன்று அது முதற்கொண்டு நானும் மரபினை ஒட்டியே வாசித்து வருகிறேன் கடினமான சுரப்பிரஸ்தாரங்களையும் எளிமையாக பாடுவதில் வல்லவர் சுதிபேதம் தான் 
அவரது சிறப்பு அம்சமாகும் என்பது அவருக்கே உரித்தானது இது சுரஸ்தானங்களை இடம் மாற்றி அமைத்து பாடி வேறு ஒரு ராகத்தின் சாயலை காட்டி திரும்ப வருவது ஒரு கிளர்ச்சியூட்டும் உத்தி வழிபற்றிக்கு <laughs> கனகதாசரின் பாரோ கிருஷ்ணையா பாடலை இவர் பாடினால் ரசிகர்களிடம் அப்படி ஒரு தனியான வரவேற்பு இசையும் இயல்பாக பாடுவார் பரிசுகளும் பட்டங்களும் இப்பெரும் கலைஞரிடம் வந்து குவிந்தன சங்கீத நாடக அகாடமி விருது சங்கீத வாணி அமிர்த கானவர்ஷி சங்கீத ரத்னாகரம் திருப்பாவை மணி சங்கீத கலாநிதி இசை பேரறிஞர் சப்தகிரி சங்கீத வித்வான் மணி கான ஜோதி பத்மபூஷன் டாக்டர் எம் எல் வசந்தகுமாரி உலகம் முழுவதிலும் இசை நிகழ்ச்சிகளை செய்தார்
அவரது இசை தனித்தன்மை கொண்டது அறிவார்ந்தது பெண் வித்வான்களுக்கு பொதுவாக மிருதங்கம் வாசிக்காத பாலக்காடு மணியையர் டி கே பட்டம்மாளுக்கும் எம்எல்பி அவர்களுக்கும் வாசித்தார் என் தாயார் பியானோ வாசிப்பார் அவர் எந்த விதமான இசையாக இருந்தாலும் வேறுபாடின்றி விரும்பி கேட்பார் ராக் மியூசிக் கசல் இந்துஸ்தானி மேற்கத்திய இசை எதுவானாலும் சுனாதமெனில் சுவைத்து ரசிப்பார் ஏன் படேகுலா மலிகான் எங்கள் வீட்டுக்கு வருகை புரிந்து மணிக்கணக்கில் பாடியதை நானும் சேர்ந்து ரசித்திருக்கிறேன் திருமதி டி கே பட்டம்மாள் திருமதி எம் எஸ் சுப்பலட்சுமி போன்றோருடன் ஒரு ராணியாக விளங்கினார் பெண்குலத்து சங்கீத மும்மூர்த்திகள் ஆண்களை விட பெண் கலைஞர்கள் தாழ்ந்தவர்கள் என்ற பொய் தோற்றத்தை மாற்றினார் எம்எல்விக்கு பின்னர்தான் பெண் பாடகிகள் நிறைய வந்தார்கள் அவர்களது இசையின் தரமும் முன்னேறியது இது எம்எல்விால் கர்நாடக இசை பெற்ற பெரும் பேர் இசைதான் உயிர் மூச்சு எந்த சூழலாலும் எந்த விதமான இடமானாலும் அவர் அரங்கில் அமர்ந்து இமைகளை குவித்து இசைக்க தொடங்கிவிட்டால் மெய்மறந்து இசை வெள்ளத்தில் மூழ்கிவிடுவார் நடைபெற்றது அது சமயம்தான் அவருக்கு உடல் நல குறைவு ஏற்பட்டு நலிவு தொடங்கியது அந்த நிலையிலும் பாட வந்தார் உடல் சரியில்லாத நிலையில் பாட வேண்டாம் என்ற போது கூட அந்த பெண்ணின் தொட்டிலுக்கு நான் பாடியிருக்கிறேன் திருமணத்திலும் பாடுவேன் என்று கூறி சிறப்பாக பாடினார் கச்சேரி முடிந்ததும் குறும்பு பார்வையுடன் பாட்டு எப்படி என்றார் நாங்கள் பாட்டு பிரமாதம் சிறப்பாக இருந்தது என்று கூறும் போதே எம்எல்பியின் குடும்ப பாசத்திலே மனம் நெகிழ்ந்து விட்டோம் So we we really miss her and we'll continue to miss her.
கர்நாடக இசை கச்சேரிக்கு முடிவென்பதே கிடையாது மத்தியமாவதி நாதத்துடன் தொடரும் தொடர்ந்து கொண்டே இருக்கும் திருமதி எம் எல் வசந்தகுமாரி என்ற பன்முக கலைஞரின் இசை ரீங்காரத்தைப் போல so with that children sugandhi madam we can come to the end of today's program i hope picnic uh, has done justice to this to today's program i think we ended up with the the last concert of mlv amma and i think uh, thank you students for all the efforts and now sriniketan you can give a word of thanks and for, after that i have a small information to be passed on please uh yes sir i would like to thank each one of you here for today to supporting us throughout the event today we leave with the feeling that it holds true for sangeeta kalanidhi dr ml vasanth kumari a great teacher who showed the correct path of teaching she is a perennially flowing river and she lives forever in indian music i like to thank founder and director of pigma k dr kiran seth from iit delhi bestowed with pandasmani and sangeeta natak award academy and nsr foundation for making this event happen i also wish to thank the principals teachers students from eklavya international pondicherry for joining for joining us today's program i also thank mrs shobhana ramesh for joining today's program we hope you enjoyed your time today thank you and have a great weekend bye bye sugandhi madam do you have anything to add we have time so uh, what should i add abhi satisfied satisfied listening to mlv for so long okay so uh, i went back to my childhood days at 1 o'clock in the afternoon in vivid bharti we would have uh, either dk patamal's uh, songs played or ms songs played or mlv songs play and you know that is one program we would not you know ever miss every sunday and uh, listening to um, mlv and her singing and looking at her it is so satisfying the whole thing was so satisfying it was so well arranged and uh, uh, you know the 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 sequence of uh, the videos it's also so beautifully arranged and uh, i was just looking for one occasion where she would go off raga or off tala okay <laughs> and I, i i intently listened to her because i just wanted to know what 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 but then she remained there you know she like in every one of her concert is a gem every one of her concert is a gem gem and it's worth listening i would want you to pass on these cassettes and recordings that you have to me so that i can listen to her eternally she is somebody dk patamal ji uh, ml vasant kumari vasant kokilam and uh, ms sumalakshmi ji you know those were the people we grew up listening to and they will ever remain uh, you know evergreen in our minds okay everybody else uh, have taken the bani of these great dons and uh, you know uh, repeated and improvised on it uh, th- there is no scope in fact with mlv study there is no scope for impro- improvisation okay so anybody who sings story has to sing her story or jnb story or, or chempai story it has to be only that okay so this like amazing 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 like being in a part of this is an amazing experience thank you so much Thank you. thank you so much i thank shobha ji for also uh, you know um, taking time off and uh, um, renewing our you know memories about mlv's uh, famous purandra dasa singh or abhang uh, it's really amazing okay wonderful it was thank you thank you, you sugandhi madam now i have a small uh, rituals to be completed i i think i stand uh, I correct think, i think ananya wants to say something okay thank you respected shobha ma'am for
for giving us this inspiration towards revolutionary Carnatic music. Thank you, Max Piquet, and our respected principal map for organizing and hosting this extremely inspirational organization. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a couple of uh, rituals to be completed. I actually stand corrected. Shobaji actually has conducted close to 400 virtual online programs during the Corona time. And uh, so, and she has been completely devoted to teaching online classes. And she is a disciple of Palgat Anantarama Bhagavada and Sangeeta Kalanidhi Sri D.K. J. Raman. So with that, I actually, this today's program is actually dedicated to my mother, Swarnam Vishwanathan, who passed away last year. So I dedicate this program to my Amma and thanks to my parents, I have grown up listening to MLV as a child and we have had close contacts with MLVG from childhood and whenever we, she used to visit Bangalore or Bombay, we used to visit and meet MLV Amma and spend a good amount of time with her sharing experiences. One of the experience I would like to share and end this program is I had completed my PhD from IIT Delhi and came to Mumbai. And after the program, MLB Amma program, my parents took me up to the stage and my mother told MLB Amma that my son has finished his PhD just like you. Simple MLB Amma actually immediately re replied back, I have he has earned a degree, whereas I got a degree. So that is MLV Amma for you. So with that, I think I thank one and all Shobadi for giving an excellent key aspects of MLV G's Bani. And also she sang and also thank all the students in the school for making this happen. And thank you one and all. And I will with and I have another thing to be added. We have founder director of Tukmake, Kiran Seth, who is on a K2K Yatra. K2K Yatra is in the sense Kanyakumari to Kash Kashmir to Kanyakumari, and he's actually cycling all the way through from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Coincidentally, he's just test just about left. Bangalore and he is supposed to be reaching Pondicherry and is going to be spending two days in Pondicherry sometime after the Republic Day. So I hope to have some of the schools connected, including Eklavia School, to have a glimpse of this one of the India's greatest founders and ambassadors of classical music, who with, without which this program would not have happened. So I will have all the school connected. And we will have a great and a grand welcome to Professor Kiran Seth, to who, who is going to be touching base Pondicherry. I will let you know the dates because the dates are kept to keep is going on getting fluctuated because he's cycling all the way. So with this, I end today's program. Thank you, one and all. Stay safe, Thank you. stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.